Okay, guys, today we're going to continue looking at function tables. When you have a function table, you're given some values for x, or sometimes you'll have to come up with your own. For these problems, we are given the values of x, and you are solving for y. Let's take a look at number one. It says find the values of y when y equals x plus 10. So for the first number, we are given x equals 2. I'll substitute 2 in place of x and then I'll solve for y. So 2 plus 10 equals 12, which means y equals 12. To fill in the table, you can either use the t or you can use the pencil. I'm going to use the t for now. So I click the t, my text box popped up. I'm gonna type in my answer, which we said is 12. Then I'm going to resize the box and I'm gonna move it into the function table. Once you have it the right size, see these three dots here? Click on the three dots and then hit duplicate, and then we can do our next problem. So this time we're given x equals three. So I'll substitute three in place of x, and three plus 10 equals 13, which means y equals 13. So since I already have my text box there, I can just click in there, backspace, and change it to 13. To fill in the rest of the function tables, I can click the three dots again, and hit duplicate, and then just move it over to where you want it. If you have a text box somewhere that you don't need, you can just hit the three dots and you can hit delete, All right? So you're gonna complete the 15 function tables and then when you're finished, you're gonna click on slide two. Just let's keep in mind our first two answer, answers, which are 12 and then 13. We're gonna need that on the next slide. So I'll click on the next slide and the directions say, you're searching for buried pirate treasure. Solve the function table problems to find your way, hint. The first answer is in the top row and follow the rest in the same order as the problems. Good luck. So our first answer was 12 and our second answer was 13 and the hint was that it's in the first row. So here it is right here. So for this one, you can use the pencil tool um, or you can use the highlighter. I'm gonna use the highlighter. I'm gonna change the color to purple. You can change it to whatever you want. And our first answer is right here. So I'm gonna cross it out. Okay, and then it's just going to go in order somehow through here. Only 15 of the squares are used because there are 15 um, problems. And then you'll get to the buried treasure. Good luck and let me know if you need any help.